Hey everyone, I've got a quick tip for you involving coordinate systems, something that you might want to keep in your back pocket. Sometimes you create a coordinate system using references, but then you want to break a connection to those references later on. This is how you can do it. Here's my scenario. I am working on a model for an SAE race car, and most of it is imported geometry, and I needed to turn it into native geometry. So some of the places I am missing points inside of here. Well, one way that you could create the points is by eyeballing them. You can go to the point overflow menu and then offset coordinate system, pick a reference coordinate system, click in a cell and then if you hover your mouse over the different axes you can drag to where you want them to be let's drag it out in the z direction so in this way i could get it approximately where i needed to be so that's one way to do it but let's say i actually want it at the end of one of those curves let me cancel out of the point creation tool and let's zoom in over here and rather than creating a point to begin with I'm going to create a coordinate system and then locate it at the end of one of the curves that way I have it exactly where I want it to be let's go to the orientation tab I will use the x-axis of the default coordinate system to determine X and the Y axis of the same coordinate system to determine Y. So let's click the OK button. With the coordinate system still selected, I can create a point on that coordinate system. So now I have a point exactly where I want to be, but the problem is the coordinate system is tied to whatever reference that I picked, and I want to break that reference. Maybe I don't want to have any references to the original imported geometry because I want to delete the imported geometry later on. Here is what you can do. Let's select that coordinate system and then edit definition and you can see for the references it's got the end of a curve right now I'm just gonna pick the default coordinate system and when I do that it changes the references to the default coordinate system and here you can see the different dimensions that place it exactly where it was before but it no longer has that reference to the imported geometry now I will click the OK button, and so in that way, I have my coordinate system that's not tied to the original reference. So again, a little trick that you can keep in your back pocket. In another video, I will show you how you can do this for cabling and piping, because that's where I use this trick most often. I want coordinate systems to start routing a wire or cable, and initially you might locate it using geometry, but for whatever reason, you want to break that reference to the geometry that located the coordinate system. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.